Hey, what's up guys? It's um, Optic Joel here and I'm doing my Getting Personal with Optic Joel episode 2 because I made an episode 1 a long time ago and it got a lot of feedback on it and a lot of people sent me messages and a lot of people have been asking me what happened with um, that whole situation and if you haven't seen that video, you might want to watch the first one before you listen to this one. So the link will be in the description. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to thank everyone for the really, really, like, nice messages. Um, it really got me through a lot. I felt really loved and cared about by all of you guys, and that's awesome. It's an awesome feeling. But I'm just going to tell you guys what happened exactly after I posted that video. When I posted that video, I had no intentions of anyone seeing it from school. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would. You know, I In fact, I really didn't want anyone to see it because I was scared that they'd know it was about a particular person themselves and then I didn't want them to feel bad about what they did to me I didn't want it to be awkward but it's as if all those people saw the video because once I posted that video everyone started being nice to me everyone started figuring out who I was people started calling me optic Joel like people that I didn't even know would just you know call me optic Joel and I would just be like, how do you, what, how do you know who I am? Like, it became pretty funny, and, you know, they, they thought it was pretty cool, like a lot of people did, and some people um, that knew that they had been assholes to me even, you know, gave me little hints that they knew that the video was about them. They would say certain things and kind of apologize in a way of not directly apologizing for it, but I know that they had saw the video and felt bad for what they had done. And that wasn't really my intention in the first place, but that's how it went. But yeah, a lot of people ended up figuring out um, that I'm Optic Jewel, and they actually handed, handled it really, really well. Um, people didn't make fun of me anymore. People didn't, you know, if anything, you know, I made a lot more friends because of it, which is so weird because it started out as such a bad, um, like, first half of the year just because I played a video game and then all of a sudden it, it was awesome. <laughs> I, I don't know. I made a lot of friends and you know some of the people were like how did you get made fun of for it? Like who made fun of you? And it would be really awkward because I, I didn't want to tell them because they were friends with the people. I, I didn't want to put those people on blast but it, it just I don't know. Anyways I got a ton of messages from people saying that they got made fun of for playing video games and I'm just here to say that honestly it gets better and it'll it'll go away and you just need to be true to who you are and hang out with the people that respect what you do and make friends in that same kind of um, area because you don't want to be friends with the people that make fun of you and you don't want to be around those kinds of people they're not worth your time I learned that you know I got over it and um, you just have to realize that you're a better person, and just because you sit in your room and play a video game doesn't make you less of a person. It, everyone has different things that they enjoy and that they like, and I don't understand why anyone would down anyone because of what they like to do. It's pretty pathetic, but I guess that's how the world works. I wouldn't down you because you like to go shopping every 24-7, I, I don't, every day of the week. I don't... I mean, I'd like to do that, but I don't have the money for that. But, I mean, it's just the point. Like, you don't just down someone for doing something just because you don't do it. it I just I just learned a lot. And, honestly, I learned a lot from you guys. You guys are the ones that sent me the messages, and you supported me throughout the whole thing. And I just wanted to thank all of you guys for that. And that the situation's 100% better. And I really hope that anyone who has, who has to deal with the same situa situation as me gets through it because no one deserves that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I just wanted to tell you guys what happened. Bye!